Boys and girls, it's your boy, Young King Cookson, here today again on Sporkle. Ooh, Sporkle, everyone's favourite quiz. I actually genuinely love making these videos. I've done Brownlow medalists, I've done premierships, I've done Coleman medalists, um, I've done brothers that play in the AFL. I am the king of the AFL quizzes on YouTube. We've got this one here, can you name the past AFL Norse with medal winners? Um, 20 questions, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is a perfect amount of time to give me. Um, if you ever want to make me one of these and send me over on Instagram, 10 minutes is the perfect amount of time. Um, 15 minutes, a little bit too long. 5 minutes, a little bit too short. 10 minutes is beautiful. I get to smash through them, have a little bit of chat. I should be able to get 20 out of 20, I reckon. Um, but let's go. 2016, Joe Hanson. Johan Nersen. How do I spell it? Sen. Johan Nersen. Jo. Johan Nersen. Yeah, yeah, we got it. James Johansson, 2016 Norm Smith medalist. Um, yeah, the doggies won the flag that year. Obviously, you know, a lot of people thought Tom Boyd should have won it. I thought Tom Boyd should have won it, but credit to JJ, he uh, very deserving. Um, Pickin was very good, but obviously, so we don't have 2017, which was Dustin Martin, and 2018, which was Luke Shuey, but they're, they're no-brainers, so give me 22 out of 22 at the end of this if you want. But um, yeah, Jason Johannesson, very impressive. 2015 for the Hawks was, was that Cyril Rioli, I reckon? Cyril Rioli, one of the great crumbing um, players of all time. Just a general freak. Um, sad that he's not playing still, really. Obviously, he had those bad hamstrings, and um, yeah. It sucks when you have a talent like him that, you know, injuries hold him back, and they don't really get to stay at, you know, the level that they're capable of for a long time, but yeah. 2014, uh, I reckon that was Hodgie. Hodgie. Oh, and Luke Hodge won 2008 as well, of course. Luke Hodge, one of the all-time greats of the game. Up at Brisbane now, you know, leading that young lion, um, young lion team to a potential, potential premiership going into this season. Top four team, I think they're second on the ladder at the moment, so very impressive. Um, yeah, Hodgie, superstar. I actually won a little bit of money from Hodgie, that Norm Smith medal. Um, I think 2008 and 2014, because he's one of my favorite players. I, I wrote him down as my Norse medalist with my little, you know, um, family betting thing. <laughs> and I, won, I think I won like five bucks in gold coins. So, you know, laughing. Thank you, Hodgie. Um, 2013 Hawthorne was at Brian Lake, formerly known as Brian Harris, aka Mr. Survivor Brian. Um, yeah, Brian Lake was at the Doggies. Pretty good career, very good uh, fullback. And obviously went to Hawthorne, got himself a couple of flags. So, Fair play, Brian. Um, 2012, Sydney, Ryan O'Keefe. Ryan O'Keefe, probably not a name that, uh, you know, you youngsters that are, you know, loving the AFL these days think of too often, but he was, yeah, he was a very good player for a long time, Mr. Ryan O'Keefe. And, um, yeah, obviously played a pretty good one in the 2012 Grand Final. Um, 2011, Geelong. Was that Jimmy? I reckon that was Bartel. Jimmy Bartell, I'm pretty sure that was against Collingwood, I think. He had a blinder of a game, kicked a nice snag at the end there. And um, yeah, Jimmy Bartell, one of the most underrated players going around, apparently, because you guys weren't happy with me putting him S tier in my uh, Brownlow tier maker. So, Jimmy Bartell, stud. Um, 2010, Collingwood. That was obviously the replay grand final. Um, one of the more boring grand finals after the, the one before, but I think that was Pendlebury. Pen Scott Pendlebury. Um, one of the silkiest players to ever play the game. Pendles, still going at it these days, very good player. Um, but yeah, that was a very boring, boring replay grand final. But the week before, the drawn one, which went to a St. Kilda player. Dale Thomas was, you know, he was in contention to get it. Um, Brendan Goddard was in contention to get it, obviously took that massive mark, um, but the, my favourite saint of all time, Mr. Lenny Hayes was the winner. Credit to you, Lenny Hayes. Um, yeah, I loved him. You couldn't, couldn't get past him. There was, you know, that famous meme, one does not simply try to step by Lenny Hayes or whatever it was, but yeah, 
absolute stud. 2009 Geelong, ooh, was that Chapman, I reckon? Chapman, Paul Chapman, um, one of the nicest folks I've ever met. Nicest footballers I've ever met, me and Dosso, when we used to go down to the rooms, um, when we used to sneak in with cheeky little buggers, um, we had a chat to Paul Chapman, he was an exceptionally nice man. Really good bloke, Chappie. Um, 2007, that was Stevie J. That was called Johnson. Johnson? Stevie Johnson. Freak, Stevie J, you know. Still to this day, um, you know, when someone has a bit of a snap, it's Stevie J. Uh, superstar, gun Stevie J. Never had the quite the body of an AFL player. That's why I loved him, because he was a freak, but he didn't really look like an AFL player. 2006, West Coast, I think that was Andrew. M, 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 Bully. My brother Corey looks very similar to Andrew Embley. Um, go back to my old videos and have a look. Corsa looks very similar to Andrew Embley. Um, but yeah, Embley, one of the last um, pure wingmen of the game. Now it's, you know, just sort of the extra midfielders go on the wing, but Andrew Embley was a genuine, <clears throat> was a genuine wingman. Uh, I'm not cutting that out either. <laughs> um, 2005 West Coast, they lost that game, but I think the man Chris Judd was the Norm Smith medalist. Um, Juddy, bit of a gun, one of the best of all time, winning it in a losing grand final, very impressive. 2004 Port Adelaide, uh, oh, Byron Pickett. Byron Pickett, one of the hardest. <laughs> Go to his uh, highlight reel, tackling people. If you don't remember Byron Pickett, he um, used to absolutely kill some people on the, the field. He played a little bit at North Melbourne, a um, little bit at the D's, obviously at Port Adelaide, won a flag at Norm Smith. Um, yeah, Byron Pickett, one of the more exciting players to play the game. He was a very dangerous man. You wouldn't want to wouldn't want to run into him, but uh, yeah, he was gun. 2003, Brisbane. Was that Blackie? Another, how's that two Norm Smith medalists in the last 20 years are on, have been on Survivor in the last two years? Crazy. I love that show, Survivor, by the way. Simon Black, um, absolute class operator. Doesn't say too much, Blackie. Apparently, Mitterbowl told me the other day he was one of the best on, on the, uh, you know, the after party sort of operation. You know, after the grand finals that they won, he was one of the, the more uh, exciting operators. But, yeah, pretty quiet old business when it comes to, you know, He's a uh, public life, but you know, apparently liked to party. Simon Black, one of the greats. Um, 2002, they obviously lost that, and I got in trouble because I said uh, Nathan Buckley hadn't won a Norm Smith, but Nathan Buckley has won a Norm Smith, and it was the 2002 Buck Buckley. I didn't know that, so thank you everyone for commenting and making me look like an idiot. Um, but you know, it's a rare thing that you know the, the quiz master of YouTube doesn't know. But Nathan Buckley, the 2002 Norm Smith medalist. I did not know that because I don't remember watching that game. But um, yeah, very impressive. Um, 2001 Brisbane was that? Uh, it's not Acker. Um, oh, I'm gonna skip this one. But I think ah uh, no 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 no. I know it. Hart. I don't remember that either. I just know because I've seen it in the archives before. But yeah, credit Sean Hart. Don't know too much about it if I'm honest. 2000 Essendon, surely it was Heard. James Heard, you know, I don't remember watching that game either. I know it was against Dosso's D's because he always tells me, the D's 2000 grand final, I was watching it with Dad, we were so ready to go, and then we just lost. But um, James Heard, 99 North Melbourne, Shannon Grant. Now, it's a shame that when I think of Shannon Grant, the memory that comes to my mind is him missing a goal to beat Collingwood from the goal square after getting a 50 metre penalty. I hit the post and it was, it was a real shame. I was on a holiday after Lake's entrance and uh, yeah, turn on, we're listening to it in the car. Come in, first thing we see, Shannon Grant lining up, we're gonna win, and he hits the post. And I was like, oh no. But um, yeah, Shannon Grant, obviously in 96, he was playing for Sydney and lost to us, North Melbourne, in the grand final. And then, yeah, three years later, wins a flag with us and gets the North Smith. So credit to Shannon Grant. 98, Adelaide. Uh, Andrew McLeod. Hey, 20 out of 20. Andrew McLeod, bit of a stud. Um, 98, Norm Smith medalist. I'm telling you, post 2000, I do not, not know anything. There you go. 
100%. Someone send me a challenge, please. These are too easy, 100%. It's just easy money for me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, drop a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't. Um, comment some stuff you want me to do. Comment why you hate me. Comment why you love me. Um, drop a sub or I'll kiss your dad. See you all later. Bye. See you. Thank you. Bye.